That's mm-hmm. how you play the piano. Yep. So this is um, there was a Suda game called Shadows of the Damned, and they did this little animation sort of thing. I think that's kind of where they're getting this that you saw. Well, that enforced gump. Yeah. Record. Records don't look like that. This jubilee, your gift is one that all the world. Oh yeah! Desires. Look at these cans. Let's keep it in here. <laughs> Some nice cans. Yep. The bassiest of basses. Now, my dear. The tremblest of trebles. Oh, they're beats. Mm-hmm. They're beats. <laughs> She's got beats. Can't handle these now, jams. The you create will only twist and <laughs> God, emotions. just with those headphones on, she looks Things like, uh, kindness, what is it? The uh, happiness, prince from Katamari Damacy, just a little pointy headset murderous. thing. People will turn on each other. In That's a, a, a game where you roll around passion. stuff and pick up things and everything is goofy. Oh, I'm familiar with the yeah, Katamari right. Damacy. Okay. okay. Also, those headphones artificially increase the bass. They're actually overpriced. Very overpriced. All right, uh, that's too far. Yeah. Oh, this guy again. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm Brian. I run the place. Now that you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I see. He stole from her the very essence of old person a hearing. Musician. And he's a musician as well. Billionaire. It's on the cover of Billionaire magazine. We'll yep. Sounds back to you, no matter what it takes. That's a promise. She doesn't seem very hyped about this. If you would, please. I don't understand how she can hear him. Oh god, <laughs> yep. I knew Mondo was cool. Motorcycle. You didn't believe me. Top floor. Good luck. Understood. I'll take care of it. Good answer. Wait, because our client is pretty. No. Because it's my job. Now they 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 put their stuff on the cloud. The Sonic Cloud. <laughs> Gotta migrate your data. I don't know if I trust these guys, especially if they let Mondo hang around. I like how when you're surrounded by a bunch of mooks, they, if they aren't engaged in you, they're just kind of standing around like they're loitering. Like they don't really have much of a combat stance. They're just kind of like, oh, whatever. I guess they're waiting their turn. Yeah. It's an old cliche in these kinds of uh, these kung fu it's movies, honor. which is what we're watching, right? Yes, this is Bushido, as they may call it. I think we could take a peek around while we're outside here. It's a, a big area of nothing. It's yeah, kind of been a recurring theme in this game, is a lot yeah. of wide open areas, but not much detail, let's Yeah, say. like there are these little things you can destroy here, but the other things... Uh, there's an escalator walkway here, how about that? Like at airports. But it's walled off on the sides, and we can't use them. That'd be nice if we just walk on that, and the level would walk through, walk us through it on its own. Just, you know, it's just too hang, hard to program, Just though. hang around. Oh god, it's the Ninja Turtles. It's a new enemy. Actually, not really, I guess. Oh. He's kind of like his wrestler. face He's kind of like his wrestler pal, except he's got a weapon now. This is gonna be easy. This is the <laughs> freeze gun. You're never gonna see me use it again. I like how Mondo totally cuts the tension by saying, this is gonna be easy. Yeah. Way to build anticipation. <laughs> Ignore the intro. He's a chump. <laughs> he just, like, sees this guy. He's like, this guy's a spaghetti monster idiot. Oh, the drill arm. Yep. I'm going to head and use that. But it takes too long to rev up, so to speak, so I'm not too crazy about it. Yeah, Getting headshots is much easier. Also, um, prior to this level, like to, like the episode before last, I got a counter for um, bullet. It's like bullet counter. Test. That's really going to come in handy at this level. 
I kind of got it a little ahead of time, but I wanted to make sure I had it for this level. You'll be seeing, you'll be seeing why coming up. <laughs> also, the strategy. Yeah. also, there is a brand new gameplay mechanic in this level, which you will be seeing. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the third gameplay mechanic. Uh-huh. It's really, really important, too. It looks like that guy was trying to make uh, rock candy, and he pulled it out too early. <laughs> and, he, and he made a weapon out of it. <laughs> I didn't. The bonus episode's coming soon, folks. <laughs> Is that what happens when you uh, sacrifice your magic to refill your health? Mondo kind of yeah. is high on ether. It's kind of like, oh, yeah. Kids do ether now. Getting high on right? life. Uh oh, guns! And th 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 those hover things are sons of bitches. Those hover oh, things, I cool. they they take priority whenever they're around. That's counter shot thing. If you if you hit just the right direction when you do a dodge sort of attack toward where the bolts are coming from, you'll automatically headshot those dudes. Going through this without it is uh, kind of annoying. I still play counter shot 1.6. No scoping. The thing with those hovery things that I really hate, you know, is the, th the first thing that I killed pretty much. They will stun lock you, like, a lot. There's a point later in the game, I believe, where you come across two or three of them at once, and it's set so that as soon as you come out of a cutscene, they start shooting you. And there there were a number of times that I almost died there because they would just stick you in a loop of just being, you know, unable to do anything. I, I hate to interrupt your uh, explanation of gameplay mechanics, that was it. but the, that was the, it. Flavor, the flavor text for uh, this place had an advertisement for the headphones. And I swear to God, they talked about bass. It's, oh. it's like they knew. It's like Suda knew. <laughs> Suda knew the jokes we were going to make. He did. <laughs> That's why he's the best. This place actually does make Beats by Dre. That w that wasn't a joke. That was a, that was a storyline spoiler I gave in the last episode. I apologize. I mean, these buyouts are just too crazy nowadays. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have some character development here. No, we're not. Yes, we are. It's coming. It's coming. I swear. Any second now. Also, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. Is, is she? Uh, I don't know. Is, what? It's, it, it's never explained. It's never explained. I'm a big America's Got Talent fan, so I read the bios of all the judges, and Heidi Klum does not have multiple arms, and she's not a Hindu, you know, deity. Have, have you checked recently? She's having a good time. Though. Having a great time. Well, adios. I'm just going to go get her oil change. Drove right through the wall. <laughs> Women, am I right? Waka waka. The one interesting set piece in the entire room is the decoration in the water. Uh oh. Two hover bots. And when I first saw this Boba guy come out of the shading worked, I thought he was wearing a tie. <laughs> This is how it's, it, it's it's like slightly differently colored down the center of his chest part. Oh yeah. yeah, actually I lied. There are two mechanics in this video. One is coming up right now. Wow, this is an embarrassment of riches. Uh huh. They are just unloading right here. I hope you can keep up with everything. It's about to happen. So you're telling me people have eyes, uh -huh. and Heidi Klum is multiple armed. Uh huh. Okay. So, there is a door right here we can't open. You may think we have to use our fingerprint scanner, but no. It's an eye scanner, so we have to use a bad guy's head. A bad guy who did not have eyes, it seems. Well, and we solved this puzzle. His helmets. We solved this puzzle. <laughs> wow. We have to do this multiple times in this level, and it's always a case of, oh, you killed the dude whose head this belongs to. The scanner's 10 feet this way. 
It's like it doesn't make any sense why they put it in. I mean, if they wanted to stick with the hand scan, hand scan thing, it would have worked just the same. So, I don't know. I think it's a lack of pretense. Hmm. They, they kind of understood what all this was about. So, you know, I mean, what are you going to have to go through on the office? The office also, new enemies. Oh. That's the last you'll see of them. Oh, oh great. I, don't I think, enjoyed this experience. I don't, I don't think you see those guys anywhere else in the game ever again. I'm serious. Wow. That's you know, I kind of like the, things like that. That's the only point I can remember, little hover bots that blow up. Maybe I'm forgetting, but I'm pretty sure that's the only time you see them. It's a bold move, because it's so tempting to reuse art assets. Mm -hmm. Like these shield like these shield guys. They fit in so well with this uh, <laughs> high-tech environment. Yes. Those are actually subwoofers, so it makes sense. <laughs> Hmm. Quite a fight. Yep. And the crux of this room. Oh, here we go. New gameplay mechanic coming up soon. We can that crouch. Guy has eyes. Whoa, you can? Yep. And you're never going to use it again after this part. And it's completely <laughs> useless. So let's not use it at all. Let's just counter shot them. Yeah. Oh, no. Now remember, Geop, you got to give these guys eyeballs. So maintain hmm. their heads. Hmm. So. You've been able to crouch this whole time, or yep. okay? It's just uh oh, there's a hover thing. You were holding back on me. I was. You can't, know how much I love crouching. You can't lay everything out all at once. That's true. That's true. It's pacing. LPers like us understand that. Yeah, it's all planned. Oh, now we're back to fingers. Yeah. I'm out. Forget it. So this level has. A lot more fluff than other levels, like noticeably more. So you'd think, okay, I move this once, I explore and unlock something new. Well, uh, okay, I'm one step ahead of myself. Hang on, we're gonna we're gonna be back and on the middle platform again. See, Spo even you're getting kerfuffled. I'm, I'm spoiling it for you. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's see what's inside this side room. Surely a collectible or some boxes or something. Or subwoofers. Yeah, it looks like it's subwoofers. Well, oh, and chairs. It's just subwoofers. There's nothing in this room. It's world building. Yeah. Okay. Let's build some more worlds. You know, let me, let me play pseudo advocate here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's world building. Hmm. If that room wasn't there, you'd be like, well, I don't believe this. Well, let's see if there's stuff in these other rooms. Okay. I mean, surely, surely there will be. On the right side of the screen, you see that green highlighted doorway? Yeah. It's not indicated yet, but that's where we're heading. But the thing is, there isn't any ground under it. And that'll work itself out. So we've moved the platform. Let's see what's inside this room. Oh. This. Oh. World building. Well. Well, <laughs> let's move this again. I mean, surely. Surely not all three. How many are there? A couple. More, I mean, than, you can, more than you can shake a stick at. I'm showing off the crouch. <laughs> this is good. Okay. Let's try this room. I mean, this one's gotta. It's just gotta. Ah, come on! It's the same room! <laughs> Almost. Oh, now you see? Now there's a hand now skin. Now we're gonna progress. Let's oh. see what we're gonna unlock. It's gonna be cool. You were skeptical. Nope. It's just her. Oh, great. <laughs> I thought I hid myself pretty well. <laughs> Color me impressed. I needed blood. Don't judge me. You want. I hired an architect to make three of the same room. <laughs> You'll never find where I was hiding. <laughs> this, this looks so mysterious, but you can't you can't go in there. What is that? I love your sultry voice. <laughs> no, I hate myself. That? I'm the sexy nurse. <laughs> Hello there. I am the sauciest mix you'll ever <laughs> find in these here parts. I've been very naughty. <laughs> so how how are you going to get the floor underneath the door? Well, a room with stuff. A chair that has physics. And, <laughs> and a hand scanner. It's got something for everybody. This place can only afford physics for one chair. Yep. 
Now we have a bridge. Ah. And there we go. Two bridges. And it teleported it it teleported us outside the room too. How convenient. That surface. That's very nice. Hmm. <laughs> why I just it got a fire. world building. This is great. This <laughs> is my favorite was, level so far. When I was playing, I saw the fire hose thing. I was kind of like, huh. It's an odd detail for a suit game. I like the uh, the design on the walls over there. It's it's very chic. Mm -hmm. The uh, the green, the blues, the whites. Yeah, it does. The neon would kind of give me a migraine though. It is a little bit of a something. I don't know what. Uh oh. It's a uh, tech startup beat. This is probably Impalo Alpha. Mm hmm. Ah, well, this yes. is this is this is an LP, so it's. Uh, well, I was I was thinking of making a fedora joke because of Red Hat, but uh, <laughs> too edgy. Uh, gee, yeah, too, you gotta too, connect these jokes before you say them. Two on the brim. And we're done with that head. Be I bet you were stumped what we were going to do with that. Oh, a hand scanner. It's getting complex. Heads and hands together at and last. And I was noticing the blood here. I was like, hey, what's blood doing here? I, I, just, I, I never really made much notice of blood prior to that in this game. Because environments are a little too pristine at times. Mondo was thinking about boobs, and he got a nosebleed. Like you do. And the Japanimes. I don't like TVs. Pronounced cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> Japanimation. <laughs> Sonic okay. Cloud Inc. is actually... Uh-oh. Uh oh. Well, we're going to be waiting on this. Is that a three-person bathroom that's coming to you? What? Oh, There's no. three people. I love that. Look at the weapon that that big dude has. It's just a bunch of blades that are spinning around or something. That fellow on the left seemed to be stuck in the... Oh, okay, uh -oh. that's why. <laughs> that's the friendliest fire right there. Uh-huh. New enemy type. I see. He's, he's just a big dude. He can hurt his buddies. So, toward the end of this, you're going to see me actually get pretty high on the combo counter. I don't think I've managed to get this high in the game without spawning it, at least. It's a common. This guy's like uh, an HP sponge, as they say in the biz. Yes. There is a special finisher to him that you don't get to see in this episode, I'm afraid. Oh, come on. Why you gotta tease? We'll see this guy again. He's not a one-timer. So you can see, because I've got the next level, my sword spinny stuff is all blue. That's because of the sword upgrade. And that means that I believe I do more damage and attack faster. Also, Yeah, it's pretty. And I'm just I'm just using these guys for experience. Because there's a... I... There's a finite, there's a finite amount of them, but because uh, I focused on the big guy, there's a bit of a backlog of them. They're gonna be coming in for a few moments. Hey, a hundred. Oh, I see. So they, they come in uh, a set of waves, but the waves is not. Forever. Yeah, I, I think okay. you're. I think you're expected to be fighting the big guy for a little bit longer. So now it's kind of like, oh, we got some left over here. Frank, what do we do with these? I don't know, just send them out. Good, that's a good skit. Yep. Again, world building. Yep, world building. I just realized that fire hose label, that was the only time we saw that in the game, I think. It'd be one thing if we had like three or four stairways where we'd see the same things. That was the only time we saw it, I'm pretty sure. It was probably a latent development choice. Hmm. Oh, what's we going just on here? need we need a label for the fire hose, and also right here I'm got a I got a lot of points, and counter parry is going to come in handy. It's funny. It's fun because sometimes when you counter dudes, you can just hit the Y button, and Mondo basically just cold cocks them and plants them on the ground. So it's good for 
sometimes killing an enemy and other times just, you know, taking them out of commission for a bit. Are there any stats that improve your crouching? No, I'm afraid not. Mondo's knees are, well, they're set in stone. There's no change in that. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, this guy. <gasps> like, hold that door, please. Time for a mini bot. No. At least the lens cleans off decently. Also, it's a disco sort of elevator. Looks like you have some time on your hands. I'm not exactly twiddling my thumbs here. Aren't we supposed to be working? Oh, you're right. This is just like the, the elevator in Mass Effect. Yep, world building. This is what you wanted. This is a pretty tall building. His mouth's not even moving. About. It's <laughs> Cost too much to animate that. Feel like I'm heading yeah, but look at that arm. By the way, do you know what it's called when the moon blocks out the sun? An eclipse? Correct. Why'd you bring that up? I just thought of it because there was a an, special an, report an, an eclipse. What? What? Did you what? Know an eclipse? The what? Blocks the sun. It's called a diamond ring. Well, aren't you the romantic one? Romantic? I'm simply talking about tangible assets. Is there some point you're trying to make? No. Only that I'm a material girl. What a surprise. It's not much of a Madonna reference there. Uh, yeah, I'm really confused. Sure yeah, that whole banter was meant to be witty. That but was it banter? Kind of, it, it, it was, I, maybe it was trying to be cute or something, but it fell on its face. So, okay, now we're almost there. I'd like to think that the building is actually only 10 stories tall, but it moves really, really slowly because the guy <laughs> wants to build his ego. <laughs> Just it's really like a thousand stories tall. Two extra zeros on the elevator thing to trick him. Yeah. Like he just, never looked at it from the outside. It's just really slow. Also, I, I just love this guy's colonial sort of outfit he has here. He's an audiophile like me. Yeah. Do you look like that? Yep. Uh-oh. When I'm listening to Katy Perry, that is me, my friend. <laughs> huh? Big pardon. This is a part of me. <laughs> and so, California girls mass produce these sounds of malice and transmit them throughout the world from this very tower. That awkward moment when you come in halfway through a conversation and don't understand what they're talking about. <laughs> I think I missed a few key points there. So Me during this entire LP, this but <laughs> is this a take on Beethoven? Because he was only deaf near the end of his life. This world will be pure. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a Beethoven yeah, thing or not. But I've come to take back her ears. I also thought Mondo was walking into a really stupid trap here because those headphones, the girl put them on and they stole a hearing, and Mondo just puts them on kind of like, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. The man in the photo actually isn't bad looking. Doesn't look bad at Mondo. all. You <laughs> I'd hit that. Anything, do you? I no longer need a body of flesh, as long as I have Miss Jubilee's ears. Those ears belong to someone else. Your logic makes no sense. But it is a force that can be used for good. We're going to be fighting a medium mogul. Whatever. That'd be the right word in this case? I mean, he was on the cover of Billionaire magazine. Yes. Killer is dubstep. Our opinions are very different on this, aren't they? Debating the matter won't get us anywhere. May I suggest we settle this the hard way? Agreed. Also, this dude on his profile is something like seven feet tall, I think. I don't know. So Mondo's pretty tall, too. Yeah, I've got to I've got to actually look at that. I may be getting mixed up with the next guy, but this dude is actually really tall. What is his blood type? Because I know Japanese uh, games He's are very negative. Obsessed. The oh, same really? as me. Oh yeah. I don't want to give away my blood type because people will figure out who I am. <laughs> That's a pretty A, a B <laughs> response there, sir. A very strange blood type. I'm the only person in America <laughs> right. who has it. We're done talking. Yeah, it's so called Elpian. Elpian's in my blood. There's a boss that I saw in Chip's LP of, um, 
uh, No More Heroes 2, and the first one you fight... I forget the guy's name, but he had, he was like this music dude, and he had really long arms. And this guy That's reminds me... Snake. This guy reminds me of him for some reason. Just the really, really weird long arms sort of thing. But this guy's kind of cut and dry. I really goof up for a while at first. But the main thing is to, I think, hit him and back away, because you can... Um, do that whole parry or whatever thing by dodging in the right direction, but I just never really get a hold of what the right thing to do is, so... Oh, you got him there. Yeah. But I mean, as far as triggering the whole thing where you tap slash like crazy. I'm not sure how this form necessarily embodies what this man is about. He's about music, and I'm not really sure I understand long arms. Um, heavy metal? Oh, okay. Oh, lost an arm. And he's a little bit faster now, and very punchy. <laughs> he has less arms to weigh him down. Uh-oh, where'd he go? It's important to keep an eye on this jerk. Because... Half those slashes didn't even register, I don't think. <laughs> so, there's a big thing with this dude. The You'll notice the arm is still stuck in the wall. You may think mm -hmm. that's kind of an odd detail. Well, it's because the guy can reclaim it. If you uh -oh. let him reclaim it, he will restart the entire boss fight with full health. Oh, basically. no. And the first time I encountered that was right at the very end of his second form. So I essentially had to fight him all over again. That is the kind of tenacity that landed him on the front page of Billionaire Magazine. Yep. And also, I'm gr grateful it went through okay because it's about... Of the four times I played through this game, um, I had crashes happen all the time at that transition between the previous phase and this one. So you have two minutes before you hit the first floor yeah. from the, the tenth floor that we're yeah. coming on? Yeah, you're falling from the tenth to the first. And the thing is, I did really bad here. The thing is, he'll just walk around to get away from you. He'll charge up an area of effect blast, and I think you're supposed to hide from it behind the woofers but most of the time he still hits me, and I just go, fuck it. Kind of ran out of ideas at this point. Yeah, I noticed the subwoofer actually turned on this one when he got near it, and I wonder if that's important. Oh. Not worth thinking about, though. It's just kind of annoying how he's kind of like, hey, you can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going over here. This is just, like, really sad. You're just, like, beating up, like, a paraplegic at this point. Yep. Oh. Yeah, heal blood. Still got a man left. He's like walking around like a chicken. I like this guy. I think this is a good level. Yeah, this is a nice set piece. I kind of like it. It's just unfortunate he's just walking away. I would have liked an entire boss fight with this whole you're falling to your death sort of thing going on. Mm -hmm. Rather than just like this weird chicken man meandering around. Killer is dead. Now we have to find the next retinal scanner. God damn it, Moon. Why do people keep making the moon purple? Quit it. We got bigger fish to fry, though. We're, we're still falling. Not good. Oh, not, not important. The job's done. Please sign here. <laughs> Everything was okay. Just, just don't even think about it. At least the job finishes normally, so... Your ears are the envy of the world. Please, take good care of them. Don't use Q-tips. <laughs> Their owner no longer belongs to this world. Do you understand 
how it feels to have something more important than life itself stripped from you. <laughs> what is going on with that head and that body? Bird! <laughs> Chiropracting gone horribly wrong? But with this... We were actually- she was actually a bird in disguise! Of course! <laughs> And oh my I knew God, that was coming. That bird is losing so many feathers. She left her payment in bird seed. <laughs> These guys need to start having actual clients hey, soon, or else they're gonna go bankrupt. What about our payment? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> my business venture is a colossal failure. Ah, I'm dangerously incompetent. <laughs> but the dental is great. Yep. And we have our money here. We somehow got paid. Bill it to the state! And let's skip ahead. There's new stuff in the store. It's for that other mode. And I don't think mm -hmm. we're ever gonna I don't think we're ever really gonna use those items. Most important thing is buying this experience thing out. Just so we have a hundred more points. So we're kind of close to getting some pretty neat stuff. I saw that you had a CD that was no longer being produced in there. That's You should buy that. It's going to be worth a lot someday. Mm. Well, I probably already have it, and that's why it was sold out. Oh. And do I buy anything? I don't think I do, because the remaining sword techniques are kind of boring or situational. It's better to get like the passive things and stuff. I, I basically, I button mash way too much to use those sword skills. So, not going to have any of that. But yeah, next time we're going to be seeing the tiger that faded into the darkness. Yakuza Don. Don Yakuza.